Hey guys, I just did a little video and noticed the runtime was about 18 minutes. And I really didn't have that much to say, so I thought I would shorten it up. So I'll get the public safety or service announcement out of the way. After being injured, as far as my back, take care of yourselves. Nothing more important than that. You're going to be lifting something heavy, take your time. Ask somebody for a hand. It's that simple. Once you're hurt, too late. That's out of the way. And that's really important. Take care of yourself. Uh, in the background of the shadow build that I'm participating in with Colin, uh, I'm waiting for... There was a color change on his last video, if you noticed, or if you watched. And there was also a primer that, um, that I didn't have, so I went ahead and ordered those two. Because they're kind of... They probably came off the assembly line right behind each other and were painted out of the same bucket for all I know. So they should match. At least look like they were the same color. Uh, so in the background I'm working on the, the which will be uh, my second piece of finished armor. The shadow build uh, will be the first. Finished. And it will be finished. In the background, as I'm picking up what to do and what not to do from the shadow build, I'm working on the Tamiya T62A and doing little things. I did use the mesh out of the kit because it was there and hell, I, w I wasn't going to use it for anything else. Um, these handles that are here on the cans. I shaved those off with an X-Acto knife and then on each side of the bracket cut in with the X-Acto knife so I had basically removed a U-shaped handle from these that several of them will be placed in the upright position like those handles would be. They wouldn't all be laying flat. Uh, besides they don't look so molded in because now they're cut free. These treads, I don't know how they would be fastened to the tank. Uh, I doubt they would just be sitting on that fender like that loose. But for all I know, maybe there is some kind of shoe or pad that when they're installed is installed on those. So it's just bolted to it, but they're strapped down for now. Um, the Fenders there at the front had some type of push pin, it looked like, going between two brackets, which I shaved off. Used a piece of rod styrene and uh, with scissors cut some of the leftover photo etch from the shadow build. Placed that over a uh, micro drill bit and then with needle nose pliers pushed down on each side to create the bend that you see there. I, yeah, the camera's not going to do it. Le Boomer. Uh, so that's what I'm tinkering with. I'm going to go into a little car stuff real quick. I'm still working and sanding on the vet body for the uh, Chevy Cheeseburger build that I decided I wanted to build a Chevy. Um, don't know what direction it's going to go. Had absolutely no plans when I started it. I just knew there were a couple of things like the tail fins uh, that house the tail lights. I didn't like that. They had to go. Uh, I made some roll bars to go in front of these. I have no idea what you call them, but they're I, I, I was thinking Pro Street, but somehow it's becoming Road Race, somehow. But then the motor doesn't say Road Race at all. It says more Pro Street. And, oh, 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 next thing, if you guys are still there, or at least Tommy of Colonel Road Scale Modeling, the canopy for the Apache, it's on its way. You said take your time, or no worries, no rush. I guess I took you 
literally, because here it sits. Next time I'm out, I'll get by the postal service, which might even be today. Got to go pay for the new refrigerator. But there I go babbling again. Um, that will be on its way, dude. So you can get to build your helicopter. Um, bench is a complete mess. Added a new shelf yesterday. Also picked up uh, some shelf sliders or drawer sliders. I made a base to go under the uh, spray booth. Uh, it's, I don't know, raised box, four inches or so. I believe I'll put those on the inside with a drawer of some sort to hold airbrushes and such. And that will clear out another drawer of storage for paint and goodies here where I'm working. Uh, okay, Wednesday. Weekend's almost here. And one more time to go uh, babbling with what I started with. Without our health, we don't have Jack. So take your time. A month of feeling like crap. It's it's miserable. So, uh, you know, like I said, it's as simple as asking somebody for a hand or just taking your time to, uh, instead of moving things once, maybe making a couple of trips and breaking it up to where it's a little easier to move. Take care, guys. I hope you're having a good day. I hope your bills are just falling together. I hope your paint is flowing out of your airbrush like a dream. And one more uh, shadow build I'm participating in is the figure build with uh, Mick Olgit. And um, thank you for that. I know you're helping uh, Darren and I out, sure. I know Bill is a pretty accomplished painter to begin with. So I'm even kind of watching his videos. Although he doesn't do many tutorials. Um, I don't think the poor guy has time. With his dioramas that he puts out. I think he is busy with building his dioramas and shows. And coming up, coming up with some pretty outrageous scratch builds. That's obvious. Take care guys. Have a great day. See ya.